the people who want to pack the court will come after you if you say no. Senator Feinstein's a wonderful person, a progressive senator who is for decades been supportive of the pro-choice pro cause. She dared hug me uh, and look what's happening to her. So it just shows you that the people in charge, I think, uh, are going to pack the court. And if you get in their way as a Democrat, uh, they're coming after you. I voted for Sotomayor and Kagan. Got a lot of pushback, but I'm still standing. I just think the radical nature of the modern Democratic Party, you need to believe them when they say they're going to expand the court because they will. And what the Vice President Biden said today, I had no idea what he was trying to say. Thanks. What, do you, what, do you have, what advice do you have for President Trump ahead of the debate tonight? Talk about an America post virus. <laughs> it's moments like this that make everything you go through matter. It's moments like this where you can tell young conservative women there's a place at the table for you. This is a groundbreaking historic moment for American legal community and really politically. It's okay to be pro-life. She embraces the pro-life cause in her personal life, but she understands that judging is not a cause, it is a process. She embraces her faith like millions of other Americans. And uh, there's some things being said about her and her family that are disgusting. And I just want to compliment her family for giving her the backing she needed to take on this job. The one thing I can say is that the real energy in the Democratic Party is to pack the court, is to expand it from nine to whatever number they need to make it liberal. And as to my good friend, Senator Feinstein, what happened to her by showing an act of human kindness tells you all you need to know about what awaits a senator who gets in the way of the agenda they have for our nation. We break news on YouTube for YouTubers.